We are Susie and Rolls. That's short for Roland, by the way. Enchanté. Follow our lives renovating a 15th century chateau and citadel. Together with our rescue fur babies, Big Baxter, Mad Max and little Lexi our beaver. You may remember from a previous episode an old metal bed that I found here entwined with all years of growth. Well, the next challenge is to get rid of all this. It's been left to uh, get out of control for many years. It's taking over the bread oven building, so we need to start clearing it. Most of that's bramble. I suspect under here is years and years of mulched material that's just been dumped here. But we'll see how far we can get. Okay, well that's uh, letting me see what I've got got ahead of me, but um, ideally it needs the brush cutter attachment, which is uh, a spinning metal blade really. Uh, but the problem here is everywhere I go in this place there's rocks, and if I hit a rock with a brush cutter it's potentially very dangerous. So I think I've just got to go in very gingerly. But anyway, something I've found which I think may, may be interesting. This here looks like a vine, grapevine, and there's lots of wires um, to support it. Now I don't think for a minute they would have put wires up to support the brambles, so that looks very much like a grapevine. And if I just show you here, this is the grapevine we uncovered last year. We did see this, we knew it was here, but it was uh, overgrown. So it would appear that we have a second one. Now whether it's worth saving or it's saveable, it's always worth saving if you can, but uh, it's been buried for so many years, hasn't had any light, so maybe it'll come back to life. We'll see.
Well, definitely the right decision not to use um, the brush cutter. This whole area is peppered with uh, stones, none of which I could see. I say stones, they're more like boulders. Um, just show you up there, that one in particular. Then you've got all these. If I'd had the brush cutter here, because these were all buried, I wouldn't have seen them. Uh, I kind of knew there was a pile there, but... Yeah, oh, there's Baxter getting in the shot. Hello, boy. Yeah, good boy. So, yeah, glad I didn't use the brush cutter. Just for good measure. Some good old-fashioned springs, whatever they are. And if we haven't got enough metal lying around, here's some more. And I suspect if I pull that hard enough, I might end up with another old bed. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh. Bless them. Cut the roots off to this ivy, so at some point I'll peel it all back. But at least I've chopped most of the roots. Well, I'm most of them anyway, so hopefully. Uh, so just going along all this um, here in front of you then. Um, there's about 18 inches worth of, of soft vegetation really. It's really spongy. And I think what's happened over the years, any maintenance that's been done, it's all been dumped here and it's all gradually mulched down. Um, so really, if I, if I just pan out to the level of the the walled garden here you can see how raised it is so that all needs to come out it's not particularly urgent but we'll do that over the period of the summer I think uh, but interestingly we um, saw that there was something here like a hole um, I suspect that was put there for chickens so I think in there is probably um, chicken run and this door, we suspected there might be something behind there, but that was really buried. Um, let me have a look, because the roof here has collapsed. So let's see if we can just get in there and have a quick look. Yeah, see it's all collapsed. So, okay, well I should be able to get in there now. I'll just fall apart if I push that. Um, so that's a little project to get in there and uh, needs to be re-roofed actually all of this. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see it now because the sun's there so it'll probably get in there but yeah you can see there's uh, holes in the roofs there and that's all collapsed behind that door. There's the vine whether it's um, gonna live or not I don't know but it's a bit tidier now and I've severed all of the the growth up the walls I've severed it from its roots so that should die back and what doesn't then I'll be able to see it easily and then gradually over the summer I'll just uh, get rid of all this so yeah glad I've done that allow the building to breathe again
Well, good morning to you. It's um, Good Friday, so happy Easter weekend to you all. And being Friday, I'm in Poitiers. I'm waiting for Susie, but today's a little bit unusual because normally I fill my time by going to the supermarket. But because it's Good Friday, we didn't uh, know whether all the um, supermarkets would be open today. As it turns out, they are. So we did all our weekly shopping yesterday. So I've got a four or five hour slot to fill. So I've come into the old part of Poitiers and I thought I'll go up into the main square, have a coffee and show you some of the architecture. It's um, it's a rather pretty, pretty city. It's, um, I don't know what the population is. It's a fairly large city. So um, let's go and have a wander around. Can't believe how noisy that was. Everywhere I went, there were sounds of pneumatic drills and roadworks and things, and I couldn't get away from it. So um, I think when I come to edit this footage, it's all going to be very, very noisy. So I think what I'll do, I'm just going to put some music over there, and hopefully you'll enjoy the sights or the buildings of Poitiers. Well, this could get a bit noisy, I'm afraid, because just here, there's a lot of roadworks or works going on. So, a lot of drilling and stuff, so I'll try and, here you go. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to show you is the town hall. Lovely building, beautiful building. And right there in the middle, the flag of Ukraine. And up there, really beautiful detail. Let me see if I can get into that. Beautiful. This is the remains of an amphitheatre built in the first century. Not much left, but you can see how impressive it will have been. This is one of about a hundred arches. Just a minute's walk from the noise of the square is this magnificent building. It's the office of the Prefecture. And the Prefecture is basically the link between national government and local government. Very important person and very important responsibilities. And there, just above the doors of the middle window, is the French motto. Liberty, Egality, Fraternity. It's a beautiful square. Apart from the odd bit of traffic coming through, it's very peaceful.
So the reason I've come down to this end of the walled garden is because of this old drum. And we found it here when we first moved in. And that was March last year. And there were one or two bees buzzing around it. And it soon became obvious that they'd made a nest in here. So we just left it here. They weren't in our way. It, you know, they weren't harming anybody. And of course we used to wander down into this corner and see all the bees buzzing around. Now that winter's over, they've long gone and this drum no longer serves a purpose, so it's got to go. However, I'm quite intrigued as to what's in it. Um, so, might just have to get the angle grinder out. Give it a tap, make sure. Yep, nothing coming out of there. Two snails, don't need to disturb them. Right, off we go. Wow, the big reveal. Yeah, let's have Bee a look. Bees are all gone. Oh my god. Oh, I wish they were still there. Well, yeah, but. Wow, look at that. What a shame. Well, we left it all there undisturbed. Yeah, but. They, they probably gonna... all went in the winter because it was too cold. Yeah, so we gave them a summer here. That's... We kick them out. Well, no, they were here when we moved in. Yeah, that's last right. Last May. Yeah, but then they disappeared. That's... So Max is going to eat it. Nice honey, Max. Wow, look at that. Let me have a smell. Poo smells of. Yeah, it doesn't stuff. smell great, does it? No. Then it's not a very nice environment in there. Ah, how interesting. Mm. Sadly, nothing there for us to eat. But I love just the natural. Amazing. Look at, yeah, isn't nature wonderful? Look at that. Those honeycombs. Yeah. It's all dripping, but that could be rain as much as anything else. What's that there? Some... What is that there? Is that dead? Could, yeah, could eggs be. or something. Could be, yeah. Oh. That's interesting, though, isn't it? Yeah. Tip it all out. It'll have to go in the bin. Yeah, I will. I think it's all wet as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's wet. I mean, it's, uh... Look at it. 
it all up. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect. Well, I have to get some beehives. Yeah, well, that is the intention one day. Right, I'll clean this lot up. Another bit of metal gone. Unfortunately, we haven't got a boulangerie in the village, but we do have this. So, just getting a get out of the machine one pound um one euro ten cash or contactless <laughs> and they actually come out warm <laughs> it's filled up twice a day by a local boulanger so actually that was baked probably a couple of hours ago maybe mm. three hours ago it's lovely Lovely and fresh. Right, on we go. So an exciting development in our little village, our sleepy little village. And it's this. This is the Red Donkey. And that's a new bar and restaurant that's due to open, I think, middle of June. So a couple more months. Yeah, doing the outside terrace. Yeah, there. it's going to have a 100 square metre terrace and of course over there in the distance the view of the hills and this is 200 meters from home so so you can roll home when you have a drink you can roll home darling and i'll no, i'll carry you <laughs> right. so there you go the red donkey so uh once that opens good. i'm sure there'll be one or two evenings spent in here actually I'll just go in. Let's have a quick look at the side. Obviously still way to go, but yeah, it's gonna be nice, nice restaurant. So we're heading home now, having gone and got our daily bread. So nice and peaceful. Just entering our road. So this is beginning of our road this is our neighbour's property okay. and this is where we live Rue de la Citadel and the road is named after our house and if we turn around this is the view this is the Elmeadow this is the neighbour's and here is the approach, almost home now, as we come down the road. You can see how overgrown the meadow is getting now, because the farmer's retired, so we haven't had any cows in the field for six months. The property's been sold, so we're hoping they'll be back again. Yeah, but we well, think it's going to be, farm. yeah, we think it's going to be a couple of months though. Yeah. And you can see down there in the distance, that's our donkey shelter with half a roof. Yeah. And there is our gate. Hello everyone. Hope you're all well, having a good Easter. Um, thank you all for watching our videos. Hope you've enjoyed them. We'd like to say uh, thank you to Grandma Sharon. <laughs> She's not our grandma. No. For buying us some coffees. We did thank uh, Grandma Sharon in, uh, in a private message and we've promised to let her know what we're going to spend the money on and we'll spend it on something for the place here. It will go to good use. It will go to very good use, so thank you, thank you again. Uh, this week was a very busy week. Uh, we had your sisters over, uh, Jackie and Caroline. They really, really helped out, uh, really pushed things on because... Uh, we're, we're trying to catch up, aren't we? We're just about getting there now. They've been a real good help this week, so thank you to them for helping out. It's really great. They dug over all the pottage. Yeah, they, they worked very hard. Yeah. Uh, chopped down bushes. Yeah. So you got a few trips to the dishettery. Yeah, yeah, a few trips to the dishettery. So thank you. <laughs> You're glad they've gone home so you can have a break. Yeah, I'm going to chill out. <laughs> no, they're very good. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, we'll see you again on Wednesday. Uh, we'll have one or two updates um, 
on one or two things that we've spoken about in the past midweek uh, episodes. So tune in on Wednesday. And if you'd like to help with our renovation of this historic building, mm. head over to buy me a do- <laughs> head over to buymeacoffee.com or have a look at our Patreon page. Yeah, we'll put the link for those in the description below. So thank you. Uh, well, enjoy your week and we'll see you Wednesday. Bye. Thank you.